Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. How are you today? Good evening. Hi. Fine. Thank you. Fine. You? Thank you. Excellent. Good. Great. Excellent. Too. Happy. Happy as always, as usual. Okay. <laughs> That's life for ¿eh? Para eso es la vida, para estar feliz. Okay. Yes. 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 Not, yes. Not, you know, it's not good. Okay. It's not, it's not good. No, it's not good. Good day, teacher. Oh, yes. Nice day. Always good. Always positive. Yes or no, Rafael? Yes. No, Rafael is always happy. Uh, hi, um, I'm so tired, but happy. Okay. Uh, happy to, happy to. Okay, good. What is the formula for happiness? ¿Cuál es la formula de felicidad? ¿Quién sabe? Saber vivir la vida. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. I mean, whatever is positive is good, right? Whatever is positive yeah. is good. Yes, you know, uh, learn to live. Aprender a vivir, right? Yes. And then see, always see the positive side. Okay, good. Now we're going to get it started. What do we have for today? Today we have This one, okay. Yesterday we checked uh, the sports vocabulary. Okay, I'm going to to repeat it just for the practice. Volleyball and go swimming. In the fall, people play football, go bike riding, and go hiking. In the winter. People play hockey, play basketball, go ice skating, and go skiing. Now it's your time to put this vocabulary into practice. I would like for you to describe the sports that you play in different seasons. For example, in the spring, I play soccer. In the summer, in the winter, people play hockey, play basketball, Go ice skating and go skiing. Now it's your time to put this vocabulary into practice. I would like for you to describe the sports that you play in different seasons. For example, in the spring, I play soccer. In the summer, I go swimming. In the fall, I play football. In the winter, I play basketball. Try to give as many examples as you possibly can. Think about your family, friends, and coworkers, and the sports that they play. After you finish this activity, Share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, so these are the ones that we were talking about, right? Winter, remember the, the seasons, right? Winter, fall, uh, summer, and spring. And in the summer, we have rainy season and dry season too. Okay, then um, Marlene, could you please read the lesson objective? Okay, this is uh, by the end of this class, you will learn how to ask an answer simple present. Double question, additionally, you will practice a conversation with illustrators how this Great. topic mm -hmm. is used, used in, the, in a real 
life setting. Setting. Okay, very good. So here we said uh, by the end of this class, you will learn how to ask and answer simple present questions. Okay. But what kind of question with WH? Uh, remember before we were practicing do you? Okay, do you work? Do you study? Uh, does he work? Does he study? Okay, those are yes, no questions. Okay, but the WH questions are questions with what's your name? What? Hmm. Where? Exactly. What's your name? Where are you from? Where do you live? Where do you work? Where do you study? Uh, where do you go on weekend? Why? Why do you study English? Why do you uh, why do you practice uh, sports? Okay. When? How? Those are the WH questions. Okay. Now let's listen to this conversation. Pay attention to the WH questions, right? Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn how to ask and answer simple present WH questions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. So Justin, what do you do in your free time? Well. I love sports. Really? What sports do you like? Hmm. Hockey, baseball, and soccer are my favorites. Wow, you're a really good athlete. When do you play all these sports? Oh, I don't play these sports. I just watch them on television. Do you play sports or watch a lot of sports? Now I would like to show you how to form simple present WH questions. Let's start by analyzing the chart on the screen. Simple present WH questions. What sports do you play? I play hockey and baseball. Who do you play baseball with? I play with some friends from work. We have a team. Where do you play? We play at Hunter Park. How often do you practice? We practice once or twice a week. When do you practice? We practice on Sundays. What time do you start? We start at 10 o'clock in the morning. The goal of using WH questions is to obtain more detailed information from someone. In this case, we want to know everything about the person's response, I play baseball. So we ask, what sports, who, where, how often, when, what time? In order to form simple present WH questions, we can follow this next formula. WH word plus do or does plus the subject plus the verb plus some kind of complement. Let's analyze a couple of questions now. In the example, where do you play? The WH word is where then we add the auxiliary verb do. After that, we add the subject you. Next, we add the verb play. Finally, we add the complement. In this case, we don't have a complement because from our previous question and answer, we understand that we're talking about baseball. There's one particular question that I would like to point out. Who do you play baseball with? This type of question may sound a little strange in some languages because of the location of the words who and with. So I would like to explain the following. We can ask this question in two ways. The most common in American English is who do you play baseball with? The other way is by saying, with whom do you play baseball? 
It's not very common, but it's correct and formal to express yourself like this. So to understand the question, who do you play baseball with, let me write a quick formula. Who plus do or does plus subject plus the verb plus noun plus with. As the example shows, we start our question with who. Next, we put an auxiliary verb, do. After that, the subject, you. Next, we need to add the verb and noun, play baseball. I would like to point out that sometimes it's not necessary to add a noun, just the verb so we can easily say, who do you play with, without adding baseball. Finally, we add with and the question mark. Now it's your turn to practice making simple present WH questions. If possible, practice with the partner and practice asking and answering the questions. You may ask about sports or fun activities or whatever comes to your mind. The goal is to practice as much as possible. After you finish this activity, please share your work in our discussion forums. In English is, who do you play baseball? Okay. Just looking at these questions. Uh, is explanation clear? Or do you have any other questions? No about pronunciation, mm -hmm. uh, about pro pronunciation, uh, how often or how often? How often? How often? How often? How often? If you say separately, you say how often. But one word say how often. How often? Often or often? Often. Usually often. Most of the people say often, no often. Mm -hmm. Often. La, la T, that's not okay. Right. okay, thank you. Okay. What else? Any other question? Okay, just remember what sports do you play? Who do you place baseball with? Uh, esta estructura probably es la, la que sale un poquito más de lo común. You say, who do you play baseball with? El con va al final, right? Con quien juegas baseball? Who do you play baseball with? Okay, con quien do you play baseball? Where do you play? How often do you practice? When do you practice? What time do you start? Okay, and they say I play hockey and baseball, I play with some friends, and then you have the affirmative answers. Okay, remember that when we have what, who, where, how, when, or what time is a specific information that you need. Okay. Now we're going to practice these questions. Okay. Now tell me, for example, write, uh, write in your notebook, escriban por ahí unas tres preguntas usando what, where, who, las que ustedes quieran, okay? For example, you can use uh, what do you do, what do you play, what do you like, what study, uh, I don't know, where do you work? Tres preguntas.
In the chat? Uh, no, in your in a, in your notebook or paper. Because after the uh, solo mama house are uh, here in the group. Do you do? Okay. What do you have in the chat? Where where are you from? Where are you from? So we have where Uh, let's say, where are you from? Where are you from? The other one is, uh, what do you, where? Where do you work? Where do you work? Teacher. Yes, sir. Eh, tengo una que, bueno, me ha dejado con un poco de duda. Mm -hmm. Esa de, bueno, en el video dice, who do you play basketball with? Mm -hmm. Entonces, eh, yo la según lo que usted dijo es, ¿con quiénes tú juegas? Basket, béisbol, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Entonces, en el caso, yo quise hacer una similar, mm -hmm. pero no sé si está bien, tengo duda. Ok, go ahead. Eh, Bueno, según el ejemplo que dio el, 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 el del, en el video, hay otra forma de escribirla, ¿va? Que uh -huh. sería, with whom do you play baseball? Uh -huh. Yeah, but that one is not, uh, it's not muy común. Yeah. Ajá, eh, uh -huh. entonces, pero eso le quería preguntar. ¿Qué tan común es en una conversación uh -huh. esta forma de hacer esa pregunta? Yeah, but what is in, in the question that you made? Bueno, eh, mi, la, la que yo hice, who do you play running with? Pero... No, okay. Eh, how can I tell you? Eh, what is play? ¿Qué significa play? Jugar. Ajá, uh -huh. ¿y running? Carrera. Pero a eso, a eso iba yo, no sé si uh -huh. está bien escrita eso. Ok, ¿cuál es la acción? Okay. Acuérdense que en la, en, tiene que ver una acción. Y running ah, okay. es dos acciones. Play and running. Y ahí... Lo que pasa es que a veces imagino yo que la idea es eh, jugar carreras, algo así. Ajá. Ok, es pero... Que, bueno, con mis amigos así lo hacemos, eh, jugamos a las carreritas, le decimos, pero no sé si así se puede decir. ¿Pero carreras eh, de qué? Ah, sería eh, especificar. Uh -huh, porque es una Por race, ejemplo. ya una carrera es race. Ah. Ajá. Eh, ajá, eso digo, o sea, digamos que play running car... Ahí sí ya se puede. No. Okay, Tampoco. Play, uh, car racing. Uh -huh. Ah, racing. Uh, ah, okay. Car racing. Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, race es carrera. Entonces, yo por aquí se usa, what, uh, who do you play with? Por uh, ejemplo, who do you run with? ¿Con quién corre? Who do you, uh, uh, I don't know, study with? ¿Con quién estudia? So, these are the different forms. Ah, ok. Sí, porque entonces... Como yo le había escrito play running, eran dos acciones, me dijo, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Play es jugar y running es correr, es otra acción uh -huh. diferente. Yes. Ah, ok. okay, okay. Who do you run eh. with? Uh -huh. Yes, who do you run with? Yes. Ok. Ok. All Thank right. you, teacher. All right. Good. And let me see. Ok. Any other question? ¿Una pregunta? Ok. Vamos a ver. Eh, hagamos preguntas de las que han escrito. ¿Quién comparte? Así como estaba Mel, eh, Melvin ahorita, dice, ok, who do you play with? Teacher. Yes. ¿Podría ser alguna? When are you going to the party? To the? When are you going to the party? When are you going to the party? Yes. Uh -huh. I'm going to the party on Friday. Yes. When are you going to the party? That's correct. Ajá, uh -huh. where, uh, here, we have to say, who do you play with? Who do you play football with? 
Okay. Who do you play football with? That's the question. Mm -hmm. What else? Otra pregunta? Practiquen, practiquen. Preguntas? Any questions? What do you do? What do you do? Okay. I am a teacher. Uh -huh. What do you do? What else? What time does he get up? What time does she get up? Okay. She gets up at two. She gets up at four. Okay. What is your favorite movie? What's your favorite movie? Okay, good. How was your day? How was your day? Very good. Yes. Where do you play guitar? When? Where? Oh, where, where do you, you play guitar? Uh, where do you play guitar? Where do you play the guitar? In the garden, in my room, okay, in the in the club. Yes. Okay. What what time is it? What time is it? Okay. What do you do today? Work? What do you, what do you do at work? Why do you why do you go into the school on Sunday? Where do you go? Where, when do you why? go to school? Oh, why? Why? Why, why? Do you, yes. why do you go to school on Sunday? Yes. Okay. When do you start swimming class? When when do you start your swimming class? Okay. Swimming class. Swimming. Swimming. Oh, dreaming. Dreaming. Como se dice en la canción. Ah, swimming. Yes, yeah, swimming. Swimming. Swimming class. Swim. Yes, yeah, swimming. When do you start your swimming class? When do you do your homework? When do you do your homework? Okay. Correct. Where okay. do you go for a walk? Where do you go for a walk? Okay. Where do you go for a walk? To you, sería. Yes, to you. In present. Okay, in present. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The, you can say in past. Where do you? Okay. But in the moment when I practice, where do you? Okay. Okay. What else? How often do you study English? How often do you study English? Okay. How often do you run? How? How often do you run? How often do you run? Yes, I run every day. Mm -hmm. I run every morning. I run in the afternoon. Yes. How how well do you drive? How well do you drive? Okay, good. Okay. Where right. do you work? Where do you work? Good. Excellent. Where are you now? Where are you now? Okay. Yes. When do you Where do you play with Juliet? When do you play with? Where do you play with Juliet? Juliet. Juliet. Where do you play with Juliet? Okay. Mm -hmm. Where do you like to cook? Why? Why do you like why? to cook? Uh -huh. Where are car keys? Where are car keys? Car. Where are where are um, I don't uh, the last the last part LT. Where are car keys? Mm -hmm. Where are? No, I don't get it. Do you understand? Where are what? Uh huh. La llaves. Ah, the, the car the, keys, the, the car, car, the car keys. Where are the car, the car keys. keys? The car keys. Ah, keys, keys, keys. decía yo. Ah, keys. Okay. <laughs> okay. Es que case suena como a caja, como una, yeah. un escuche, case. Uh -huh. 
Ajá. Y se pronuncia kiss. 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 Where are the car keys? Yes, where are the car keys? Yes. Teacher. Yes. 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 ¿Cómo se pronuncia cuál? ¿Cuál? What? Sí. No. What? No, la, este, la que va WHO. Ah, who? Who? ¿Quién? Who is your favorite actor? Who is your favorite? Who is your favorite? Who is your favorite actor? Ah, who is your favorite actor? Um, ah, yes, actor. Who is your favorite actor? Yes, who? The word is who. Mm -hmm. ¿Quién? Okay, oh, in, Spanish, in Spanish you say cuál, right? But in English you say who, quién. Okay, who is your favorite actor? Okay, because in English the question cuál is what? What is your favorite movie? And who is your favorite actor? Okay. Good. Now, how, how, how do you spell your last name? How do you spell your last name? Yes. Okay. Good. Okay. Um, well, that's good. That's nice. Ya yeah, veo que no problem. Vamos a regresar al platform, pero le voy a tomar antes la picture. Ahorita veo que hay más. I'm going to take the attendance in this moment. Where is your favorite restaurant? What's your favorite restaurant? Okay. What is your favorite restaurant, teacher? My favorite restaurant, home. <laughs> <laughs> yes, very yes. well. Yes, it's cheap and safe. Yes. <laughs> no, but uh, probably if I have to, it depends. It depends. If uh, if it is a fast food restaurant, and fast food restaurant maybe Dennis is a good one. Okay. Uh, also the what is this the name of this one? Eh, Lomu la Uja also is, is a good one. Okay. It depends. It depends on what you want to eat. Okay. Depende de la comida, right? That you want. Eh, pizza, for example. Eh, it is a, a, a one that I don't know. Charlie, or Charlie Boy or something like that. Okay. Good. Now let's uh, go back here. Okay, so we have uh, complete the conversation with the correct WH question word. Okay, complete the conversation with the correct WH question word. You have to see if it is what, where, who, how, why, when. Okay, here. <coughs> Which is the correct word? When. Number one, when. When. Here. Okay. Hang in this one. Where? 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 Yes, where? How? How? How often? How often? When? When? And who? 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 Yes. Who? Okay, good. So you have conversation one. Okay. What is the word? Congratulations. Congratulations. Okay, good. All right. Here <laughs> we have the conversation one. Here. Okay. Uh, Marlene, you are 
letter A. And then, let me see, Melvin, you are letter B. Okay, read the conversation. Okay. okay. I watch a sport on television every weekend. Really? What sport do you like to watch? Soccer. Soccer is my favorite. When do you usually watch soccer? On Sunday afternoon. And where do you usually watch it at home? No, at my friend's house. He has a really big television. Television, okay. So remember the transition is soccer, okay, soccer and usually. Soccer and usually. Yes. Okay, then a. Uh, uh, let me see, Mayra and Tatiana. Mayra, you are A, and Tatiana, you are B. For Mayra, teacher. Mayra, below you. Yo voy a hacer quién? El B? A. And Tatiana, B. A. Okay. One moment. In, I know she. Okay. I watch a sport on television every weekend. Weekend. Really? What sport do you like to watch? So, soccer is my favorite. When do you usually watch, watch soccer? On some afternoons. And where do you usually watch it? At home? No, at my friend's house. He has a really big television. Okay, very good. Okay, Rafael, you are A, and Marta Lillian, you are B. Okay. Uh, soccer is my favorite. Um, I watch. You are a. I watch the sport. I watch sport on television every weekend. Really? What sports do you like to watch? Soccer is my favorite. When do you when do you usually watch soccer? On Sunday afternoons. Um, where do you usually watch it at home? No, I no at my friend in the house. He has a really big television. Okay, very good. Okay, nice. Then the second conversation here. I'm gonna use two more. Uh, Mayra Lorena and Glenda. Mayra Lorena, you are A and Glenda. How how often do you go by Friday? Um, about once a month. I love to go by riding. Bike riding. riding. Bike riding. By ride, riding. I go every Sunday. Really? When do you go? Usually, usually at about one o'clock. Oh yeah. How do you usually go? Which? Ooh. My sister come with with us next time. Okay, very good. Then uh, Marco, you are A, and Josepilio, you are B. Marco A, Jose Atilio B. Hello. 
No. Okay, Ruth, you read the letter A, and Jocelyn, you read B. Uh, how, how often do you go bike riding? Jocelyn? Oh, about once a month. I love to go bike riding. I go every Sunday. Good. Really, when do you go? Usually at about one o'clock. Oh, yeah. Who do you usually go with? My sister. Coming with you next time. Come with us. Come with us next time. Very good. Okay, people. So then this is pronunciation, intonation. Uh, the structure, okay, la estructura, and everything. Okay, any questions? No? No, teacher. Okay, good. No, teacher. This is, you know, for example, when you have the WH question using these different words, right? Then, uh, Maria Jose Martinez, could you please read? The okay, to share. By the end of this class, you will learn to sound natural. When using can a count. Can or can. Okay, what is can? Poder, right? But poder, uh, when you have uh, the ability to do something, right? Or when you can is because you don't have the ability or also, let me see, permission, okay? When you have the permission to do something, okay? This is can or can. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn to sound natural when using can and can't. Let's start by listening to the pronunciation of can and can't. Can and can't. Notice the pronunciation of can and can't. I can act, but I can't sing very well. This is a very simple pronunciation. If you notice the positive statement, I can act. Above the word, you can see how that is pronounced. Can as the pronunciation symbol. On the other hand, the negative statement is pronounced differently. We will pronounce it as can't. Another tip that I would like to mention here is when it comes to negative statements, which are contracted, we can also follow the simple rule. If there's a contraction which ends in NT, you can think of extending that N. Let me illustrate that. I can't sing very well. This trick can also help with pronunciation. English pronunciation is not an easy topic and it requires a lot of listening and practicing. I would like to encourage you to practice these two simple phrases. Practice by listening and repeating. Do this several times until you feel like it's not difficult for you. Above the word you can see how that is pronounced can as the pronunciation symbol. On the other hand, the negative statement is pronounced differently. We will. Okay, here you have can, and then you see the pronunciation here, can. Este sonido no existe en, en español, right? So it's at least no can, no can, can. We can and can't. And pronounce it as can. Something similar. Another tip that I would like to mention here is when it comes to negative statements which are contracted, we can also follow the simple rule. If there's a contraction which ends in NT, you can think of extending that N. Let me illustrate that. I can't sing very well. This trick can also help with pronunciation. English pronunciation is not an easy topic and it requires a lot of listening and practicing. I would like to encourage you to practice these two simple phrases. 
Practice by listening and repeating. Do this several times until you feel like it's not difficult for you. Okay, good. So how can we practice? You seem... I can't seem very well. Uh -huh, for example, I can, uh, let's see, I can cook. Okay, very well. But I, let's say I can't, uh, what else? But I can't dance. Okay. So then you have um, an affirmative sentence. So I can cook very well, but I can't dance. Uh, I can speak um, English, but I can't. and uh, speak French. Okay. Uh, this okay. I have a question. Mm -hmm. I can es puedo, ¿verdad? Yes. Okay. And the other one is negative. En la que sigue es no okay. puedo. Thank you. Puedo, no puedo. Puedo hablar inglés, pero no puedo hablar francés. Puedo cocinar bien, pero no puedo bailar. Right? So then says something I can do and something that I can't do. I can Spanish, but I can Portuguese. I can sound. Ok, wait, wait, wait. Ok, vean bien. Esto es importante. I can, después de I can, hay un verbo. Ok, siempre va a haber un verbo. Okay. ¿Qué es lo que se puede hacer? I can speak, I, I can, can work, speak. I can see, I can cook, I can run, I can walk. Okay. Siempre va a haber una acción. Y después, lo que quieran, right? I can speak Spanish, I can speak English, I can uh, study English, I can uh, eat, uh, I'm to push up, okay. I can eat, I uh, can I can watch a movie, okay? Always, always can and not can. Okay, you have can. Can, 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 plus, there, okay? No problem? No problem. All right. There you go. Okay, now tell me your sentences. Ahora díganme oraciones, right? Using can and can. But practicing the pronunciation can, 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 okay? I can, can cook, I can cook spaghetti, but I can make pupusa. I can, I can make pupusas, okay. I can make pupusa. Okay, thank you, Maya. Good. Okay, anybody else? I can drive, mm -hmm. but I can't uh, sing. Okay, I can drive or I can sing. Okay, good. Good, good. Continue. Mm -hmm. I, I can walk, mm -hmm. but I can't run. Okay, I can walk, but I can run. Good. Nice. Mm -hmm. What else? 
I can make spaghetti. Mm -hmm. I can some. I, Mayra, can you repeat, Mayra, Lorena? We we can cook cooking. I can cook. We can cook. We can cook. Uh huh. Bake it. Okay. Cake. Uh, okay. We can make. We can make. Uh, I can. I can make a cake. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. I can make a cake, but. Mm -hmm. But I can. <laughs> but I can. Algo que puede y algo que no puede. But I can spaghetti. make spaghetti. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. I can make. Siempre un verbo. I can make. Uh, a cake, but I can make spaghetti. Okay. okay. Good. I can draw, mm -hmm. but I can play volleyball. Okay. I can draw, but I can play volleyball. Good. Tatiana? I can color very well. I can? Excuse me. I can color very well, uh -huh. but I can't draw. But I can draw. Okay, good. Okay, color. Good. I, I, perdón. I can ride a motorcycle. Okay. But I can't. Um, Fly an airplane. But I can fly an airplane. Okay, very good. Nice. Excellent. Good. What else? There you go. Esa es Aquí van practicando verbos y la pronunciación de can and can. Good. Marta, you haven't said anything, Marta Lillian. Go. Tell me. I. I can play baseball, but mm -hmm. I I can't uh, football. I can play football. I can play football. Sí. Okay. Good. Uh, anybody else? I can eat pizza. I can eat pizza. Pizza. I can sports. But I can, el verbo, but I can. Uh, play mm -hmm. sports. Sports, okay. I can eat pizza, but I can't play sports. Yes. I can make um, spaghetti, mm -hmm. but I can football. I can play, okay, verbal, the verbal. Play, play, sorry. I can play. play. Okay, play, okay. Play okay. okay, good. Well, I can uh, I can to run. I can run, but, but I can to swim. Okay. Nadar. Ve, veamos, vea que en el después del can no hay tú. Okay. Okay. No. Entonces, no hay by, tú. Mm -hmm. But I can uh, swimming. Nadar. I can swim. Okay. Swim. Ajá. Veamos esos, eh, esos detallitos. No va ni tú, no va ni tú, ni se pone Ajá. ING. Vean los verbos que están acá. I can cook. Okay. Nunca va a, se va a decir I can cooking. Okay. O mm -hmm. I, can, I can swim. No I can swimming. Okay. No, Están en presente. Están en forma, digamos, base form, la forma como la raíz del verbo, right? Cook. Okay. Right? Entonces quedaría, I can run, I can but run. I, I can, but I can swim. Uh -huh. That's correct. Very good. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Good, good. I'll go. Um, I can sleep. Okay. But I can dream. <laughs> uh -huh. But I can dream. I can sleep, but you can't dream in English. Uh, uh -huh. Okay. I can sleep, but I can't dream. 
Ok, me, tiene, me debe la tarea. Ok, good. What else? I can drive a car, mm -hmm. but I can uh, drive a plane. I can fly a plane. I can drive a car, but I can fly a plane. Yes. Okay, good. What else? I can sweep, but I can surf. No sé si se pronuncia así. I, I can. Surfear. Surf. I can swing. I uh -huh. can swing. Uh -huh. uh, I can sweep. Uh -huh. But I can't uh, surf. Surf, yes. No, pero no sé si se pronuncia así. Uh -huh. Yes. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay. Good. Okay, what else? I can read English, but I can speak. Okay, I can read English, but I can't speak. Okay, good. One more. Come on, come on. Ya casi no, no, okay, ya estamos agarrando. I, mm -hmm. I can eat pupusas, I can drink beers. Okay, I can eat pupusas, but I can drink beer. Al revés tiene que ser el. Okay, I can I can no, drink teacher. beer. <laughs> but I can't get to put it. No, it's okay. Good. All right. What else? Este, I can listen listen to music. Okay. But 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 I can I can't dance. But I can't dance. Okay, dance, 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 dance. Okay, good. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Now, ya ve cuántos verbos han practicado. What else? What else? What else? You sure? I have a question. Yes, Tatiana. Uh, when it's a question, I can't put the verb in ing. Mm. G G. No. Ask me. Uh, what question? For example, can you watch in the game? No, can you watch the game? Oh, okay. Can you uh, can you watch the game? Can you can you swim? Always, it's the same uh, the same idea, right? The same structure. Siempre va a ser igual. Can you swim? Can you walk? Can you play? Can you study? Can you work? Uh, can you run? Can you jump? Can you drive? Always. Okay. So okay. that would be the structure form. Mm -hmm. So we're going to use can you walk? Can he? Can he, uh, let's say, can he jump? Uh, can he? Can you see it? Let's see a uh, pizza. And it also, if you examine them, no cambia con la tercera persona, right? So you, he, siempre es el mismo. Can you walk? Can you swim? So, eso es lo fácil de este verbo. Okay, can you see. Ahí sería como ella come pizza. Como en pregunta. Poder. Puede ella. Ah, yes. Puede Always. comer. Can is yes. Can they. Yes. Can they. Uh, can they sleep? Can we. Can we talk? Okay, podemos hablar. Uh, can we go out? Can we go out? Podemos salir, right? And the answer, can you walk? Yes, I can. Can he jump? Yes. 
Yes, you can. Yes, you can for negative. No. No, he can. can't. No, he can't. No, he can't. No, he can't. No, he can't. Okay, can she eat pizza? No, she is at home. No, she can eat, but I can. I can. She can. This is, can this is short answer. Okay, la respuesta corta. But you can use no, she can. <coughs> no, she can eat pizza. Okay, no, she can eat pizza. Okay. Okay. Now. Oh, okay. Now, just for the pronunciation, vamos a escucharlo una vez más para que Hi everyone. Recuerden la pronunciación. It's the pronunciation of can and and can't. Can and can't. Notice the pronunciation of can and can't. I can act, but I can't sing very well. This is a very simple pronunciation. If you notice the positive statement, I can act. Above the word, you can see how that is pronounced. Can as the pronunciation symbol. On the other hand, the negative statement is pronounced differently. We will pronounce it as can't. Another tip that I would like to mention here is when it comes to negative statements which are contracted, we can also follow the simple rule. If there's a contraction which ends in NT, you can think of extending that N. Let me illustrate that. I can't sing very well. This trick can also help with pronunciation. English pronunciation is not an easy topic and it requires a lot of listening and practicing. I would like to encourage you to practice these two simple phrases. Practice by listening and repeating. Do this several times until you feel like it's not difficult for you. All right. Doubts, questions? <laughs> No, no question. No, no question. Okay, so okay, so we're going to stop here then for today, and we're going to continue tomorrow. Okay, eh, quedan, por ahí? Quedan eh, I think it's uh, tomorrow. We terminamos el próximo miércoles. Eh, Traten de tener ya lista la plataforma y en todos los exámenes el quiero ver martes. Martes vamos a hacer una revisión del examen y miércoles, ¿vale? Right? Para que ya el miércoles ustedes lo puedan terminar y si ya lo terminaron, pues mejor. Ok, because we finish next Wednesday. Right. Pero el martes lo que estaríamos ya terminando y el miércoles tendríamos práctica y revisión del examen. Ok. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Okay. Have a good night. Bye bye. 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 Bye bye.